Officiating at the event, NIP's Board Deputy Chairperson Vaino Shivute described the initiative as a crucial moment in Namibia's journey towards health sovereignty and economic empowerment. Shivute says the facility has an annual production capacity of 5.5 million units. During phase one, he says, the project focuses on non-additive tubes, including urine and stool specimen cups. Shivute stressed the development has attracted investment totaling nearly $15 million, which includes a machinery grant exceeding $3 million from the German government and the European Union through GIZ. He further added that the second phase will focus on expanding production for additive-filled tubes and enhance Namibia's capacity to serve not only the local market but the SADC region. By producing our own laboratory consumer, specimen tubes, vials, and beyond, we are dismantling the chains of dependency. No longer will we wait for external shipments to save lives at our healthcare facilities across our 14 regions. No longer will our health security hinge on distant supply chains. Here on Namibian soil, we take control of our future and redefine our path towards self-sustenance. Also speaking at the event was the senior program officer for the SADC Secretariat, Kalishas Tutalife, who urged African countries to support Namibia in realizing the dream of industrialization. We don't have a process of reading our preference within SADC as yet, not functional, where we say, if I can find it within my borders, I should go to the next country and the whole region first, until only if the region cannot satisfy, that's when I can go global. So how do we support? manufacturing. We want to see a country within SADC, a member state of SADC that says, because we don't have troops in our country, Namibia has troops, we are going to procure from Namibia. That's what we want. That has not been there. The program manager of the European Union, Susan Marie Louis, also witnessed the new developments. The NIP initiative was a direct response to this call. This new cutting-edge facility will produce the tubes needed to collect sterile specimens for laboratory analysis, which are essential in the SADC region. This is a significant milestone for regional pharmaceutical manufacturing and public health preparedness, and we commend Namibia for turning a crisis into a catalyst for long-term change. This manufacturing hub is expected to create direct employment for 15 professional scientists in its initial phase. It would also require engineers, technicians, quality control officers, security personnel, cost accountants, cleaners, dispatchers and drivers. As production scales up, plans are in place to expand employment to over 20 jobs. The impact of this initiative goes well beyond the factory floor. In partnership with NAST and UNAM, the facility will act as a training ground for future engineers and innovators.